Hello, everybody. This is Gary Kay, and you are watching a special video edition of my Rants and Rave podcast. Uh, we are still doing some follow-up on uh, ISE, a giant show about a month ago in Amsterdam. I'm joined today by Car with Carl Johnson. Carl is with uh, Christy. Carl, how are you doing? Good. Very good this morning. Thank you. Glad to be uh, here. One of, the, one of the big things on the show floor everywhere was all about AV over IP, and you guys launched yourselves into that market with the Terra product line, you and I spoke last year at Infocom and it was a big launch for you. Yeah, it was great. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun and it's, it's really exciting stuff. Uh, we introduced the product at Infocom, as you said. We were doing some basic demos of switching, uh, you know, zero latency, artifact free 444 content with lots of control options and, and video processing. And then this past ISE, uh, we went from switching, you know, doing the demonstration of video walls and, and, and clean switching and moving on to showing the uh, multi-view, multi-viewer functions. When you mix all these things together, you have quite a powerful system. Yeah, and one, one of the things that's interesting about what Christie's doing is you're, you are part of the SDVOE Alliance, uh, which means that you're compatible with all the other SDVOE products. And, and one of the unique elements that you bring to the table is that you have a controller uh, that allows you to build sort of virtual uh, control and matrixing uh, software-based, uh, cloud-based, whatever you want to call it. Uh, control of an entire system, and and you're going to sort of demo that for us today. Yeah, we 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 actually, you know, we demonstrated that. We have some live footage of that in the material we collected at ISC with with Rave. And I thought today it would be valuable just maybe to step through and, and with some callouts on a just few a few slides of of the software. It'd be a little quicker, more efficient. So I thought what I do here is there, and and, and the big thing we're doing it with the controller is making a very graphical user interface, uh, drag and drop, uh, easy to use. We, we bringing, we're bringing the uh, experiences that we've had with other video all processors like the X80 and the Phoenix for, for controlling systems like this. So what I'll do is I'll just share my screen here and then we'll go to a few slides and I'll explain some things that, that we're doing with our software. All right, that's perfect. Right. perfect. Cool, okay. So here's just, we're gonna run through just a few screens and I'll talk about some elements that we're, we're managing and advancing in our software. So let's just see here. Okay, so the first thing is we're making, you know, getting started on the network, I'll call it one, two, three, simple. Uh, and really, uh, you know, it, simplifying some of the tasks that, that happen when you set up an audiovisual system on the network. And what we really wanna do is eliminate keying errors, make it simple to address, subnet mask and all that. So really we discover, quickly we discover the controller, set up an address, and then we go out and we find, we're gonna find all of the uh, Terra transmitters and receivers, and then help the customer, you know, pick, you know, ideally in advance you pick some, some address ranges, but give a starting address and then boom, hit up all the, the devices and, and configure them. So everything's in the right, you know, sequence and, and uh, uh, address class and subnet and so forth so so that you know a lot of times when you're fault finding at the end of a project there's simple things that were missed at the beginning so we're really right, looking right. To, to get past that quickly in in the integrator experience uh, you know obviously we you know log into the controller or the Christy Terra controller and some big things here are is a lot of uh, AV over IP products you need products with hot hot MAC addresses to program them and so what we're doing is we're providing a mechanism to actually program systems offline and then go to the site and associate them to devices when you do have hot devices. So this lets you reuse old programs or it lets you program, let's just say offline and then and associate devices. So what we're doing here is helping customers, integrators, streamline the programming and integration process. Could this also be used to simplify when you have a, a case where you're, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again in a facility? Yeah, absolutely. That's it. So if you have a template, you know, for a particular style of room or, you know, a customer with multiple locations, you can keep reusing the old program rather than going back and reprogramming because that's just, you know, uh, the nature of a lot of products that I've seen. You need a hot Mac address before yep. you can start programming. All right. right. And this is kind of an idea of what happens. You know, you've, you've got a pre-existing program and now you're going to, you know, associate it to a hot, uh, an existing or a hot, a hot uh, transmitter receiver that's online. So really, uh, we, when we move here is, is now you have a system, I'm on a page where we, we assign uh, devices or displays, uh, sorry, displays, receivers to displays. And so in, in this case, what you can kind of see is 
I have a system with two screens, let's say single mm -hmm. screens, name one and name two. At the bottom, you see the, the magenta line, the mm -hmm. purple line with name three. That's a two by two array. So when you get to this page, what you do is, is start you know, creating displays with columns and rows uh, and, and associate them to transmitters and receivers. Yeah, and but then, basically what you're doing is laying out what the screen's going to look like with multiple sources coming in. Yeah, yeah. And so now, you, and then you'd move on to what I'll call drag and drop, mm -hmm. right? And so drag and drop of, of, of sources or, or just selecting layouts. And on this page, it's drag and drop. Uh, the next page, uh, it, and it gives a little bit more uh, information in that, um, you know, I have a source, source one, and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to associate video and audio, and I'm not going to take any, uh, drag any of the control signals over to the receiver uh, okay. in name one. Uh, if I go to another display like the array, the two by two, I can drag and drop sources or stretch something full screen. I also have an opportunity with, this is a multi-viewer single screen, I can stage. So I can stage one or two or three uh, sources onto that display. And then I could be in live mode where they appear as I drag them, or I can be in preview mode and then I wait and then I push, push to the display. And so, obviously this can be set up as a macro where you have just a button in the room and it just, uh, and it, and it goes live whenever you want it to go live. If you want to simplify it for you room control, I assume. Yeah, absolutely. Each one of these, then you have an opportunity once you've, you've created the arrangement that you save a layout and then that's just a click or a double click to pick a layout by name. Kind of, you know, you call that, I'll call that the video wall paradigm or the multi view programming paradigm. And then, a, you know, an external control system can just call those, call those layouts. Yeah, right yeah. with a quick with, with a quick macro command as you said right so a big thing here is these av over ip systems uh really there's opportunities to build build systems with very large scale to them so uh assets in the system transmitters receivers uh as well as layouts everything can be assigned a tag and that tag can be given a logical name that's based on the system or about the customer's business and how that system's been arranged and really there from there, now I can organize it by, if I think, think of the uh, paradigm of a, of a building I, or, or a campus, I, I've got a, a building, a floor, a room, a room type, a source type, right? It might be a set-top box. It might be right. a computer. It might be a particular system on a computer, right? It might be a rack, right? It might even be a power strip. And, and really that allows, you know, if you have lots of layouts, if you have lots of transmitters, receivers, you can type in tags and quickly find things. And so you're really able to manage systems of scale, program them, manage them. And as you move on to device management, if I have, let's just say, you know, if I pick a big numbers like a thousand, if I have a thousand devices, then, you know, not only am, am I able to sort by, you know, firmware or address or name, but also by tags. And really now you can start looking at the store, the forest, instead of trying to hunt through, through trees in the forest and really there's a tool for system management here that really makes things more efficient uh, managing larger systems um, and then also uh, you know let's just call it streamlining workflow is that you know copying copying a configuration for a transmitter receiver how am i managing the video the audio embedding or de-embedding mm -hmm. you know the control connections or the the edit and so forth those can be saved in the in a configuration for you know, a receiver and then you, you make a, a format and then you copy it, bulk copy. So what we're really doing here is looking to streamline the workflow for our integration partners and, and make it easy to manage, you know, systems with scale. And, and finally, you know, there, there's, there'd be a tag manager tree for that. So that's really uh, kind of an idea here uh, of kind of workflow. Uh, the other thing is because this product works on a network, uh, you know, there's a lot of elements here to make this product highly secure. And it's in 360, I'll call it 360 degrees. It's more than just, let's say, encrypting communications. It's encrypting data on the unit. It's logging, you know, who's, who's accessing the system. It's password management, just like you do when I go to my bank. Uh, every few months, I have to change my password. Uh, and, and, you know, recovery techniques. So a, a broad set of, a broad set of uh, the security features, because as, as, we, as we operate in networks, our customers are more and more sensitive to, to managing the environment with uh, protecting the data and protecting the system. And so that's a real, that's a quick, um, that's a quick preview of, of the, uh, that's, a, that's a quick preview of a few key elements of the software. I thought it'd be easy to do with call outs and a bit of discussion. 
uh, rather than operating, we can go back and look at the ISC video for operating. But real excited. Yeah. It's fun seeing the software and, and, and seeing the customers start to use that. Yeah, as, as you said, Carl, that we did shoot a video at ISC. You can find that at ravepubs.com slash ISC 2018, or you can just click on the ISC banner at the top of the page. And we actually shot a, a bunch of demos. In fact, one of the one, ones that's unrelated to the, the Terra was the, the Guardian, uh, which I, I encourage you to watch Guardian. But back to Terra, I got one quick question that a lot of people have asked me because I'm doing a keynote on AV over IP for 2018. I kicked it yep. off this week at the at the at the Almo E4 show. Um, how compatible are you with the other SDVOE products? So let's say they've got an existing system right now where they've got a mixture of uh, DVI gear product and and maybe a Blona product and, or Aurora product, and they want to they want to use Christie as well as your controller. Is that going to work fine? Can they use the other transmitters and receivers and kind of build a system with an assortment of other products out there since you're all SDVOE? Yeah, the products are, are compatible on, I'll call it a baseline level. I think the easiest thing to, the easiest um, pieces to be focused on is the video and the audio. Right. Um, the, the SDVOE system, the, the, all the content is packaged the same way. It's encrypted the same way. And then the API is the same for controlling, you know, differentiates themselves. They have their own features depending upon their business and, and their, um, their, their, their products. So when you start looking at control signals or, you know, different unique features, those are the things where the control hooks you'd have right. to check by controllers. Well, um, well, that's why I was asking you because you have a very sophisticated controller compared to what most of those companies have. Uh, most of them have done a really good job of building the transmitter receiver side, but not the sophistication in the control and the security. Because one of the aspects I've found in talking to a lot of the customers is that they love the products that are out there and they like the concept, but they're concerned about deploying it in, in certain applications, especially government uh, applications where you have high levels of security requirements and you have a very sophisticated controller. So that's why I asked the question. And of yeah. course you can find out more information at christydigital.com where yes. you have a lot of uh, comprehensive information up there. So um, I appreciate this demo. This, this helped me too, because although I, I saw it really quickly at ISC, uh, going through it like this screen by screen helps me to understand sort of the logic in, in sort of, step, as you said, uh, oh, step one, two, three, or one, two, three step, whatever you, whatever you call it, simple one, two, three. One, two, three, simple, yes. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That worked out really well. So thank you very much, Carl. Thanks for uh, doing that for us. All right, thank you. Then thanks for watching. Of course, you can see all of our ISC coverage at at raypubs.com and then just click the ISE button. And uh, we shot a, probably about 10 videos at the Christie booth and they won a few awards uh, for, for some of the projection technology that they have out there as well as the Guardian, which was probably one of my favorite products at the entire show, or pr favorite demos at the entire show. Uh, yes. So check that out. And uh, Carl, thank you very much and congratulations. All right, thank you. Thank you.